Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to take you along for my first official snow day here in New York City. I'm a bit excited, I'm heading up to school and we're going to do a few stuff as well so if you're interested, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy the video. So now we're here in Central Park. I'm just experiencing a bit of this snowstorm. It's, it's actually really pleasing. I'm not sure if you guys can see. It's not snowing heavy, it's just what we call flurries. Really amazing view as well. It's not as cold as I expected it to be, but I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Can you guys see that? I'm sure you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys should be able to see that. I still need to go to school. Luckily, my school is two minutes away from t Central Park. So, we're gonna go over there. So, per your guys' request in the comments, this is gonna be an official NYIT Manhattan Campus tour. So, the Manhattan Campus comprises of four main buildings. So we're going to start with the Student Activities Building. This building was actually under renovation and this was my first time seeing it since. And it's really nice to get your work done. They also have a canteen, a miniature canteen and the prices are a bit outrageous for my liking. Now heading over to the main lobby. This is where most of the students gather during their time here at NYIT. There's showcases of... I'm not sure what these showcases are for, but they're there, so you know, take a look. There's multiple areas to take seats, a lot of areas to study and meet with friends. Next we have the library. Now for the short time I've been here, I've never actually used the library, but if you're into books and reading, then you may find a selection that's perfect for you. There's also rooms you can reserve for personal studying time and again meeting with friends. There are also miniature cubicles that you can go ahead and have a private study session with and this is also the view right outside of the library. After leaving the library, we're going to actually head up further into the Edward Galliano Global Center. This is going to be the main building for most of your classes at the Manhattan campus. Now the library composes of the second and the third floor. So going straight to the fourth floor is where the math and physics classes are typically held. Now again, this could differ based on your major, but this is where most of these classes are held. Now we move on to the fifth floor where most architecture students will be, including myself. This is your architectural studio. Here you get most of your work done, you tend to spend all night just doing models and just enjoying the utilities and services we're provided to by the school. Then we proceed to the sixth floor. On the sixth floor is where engineering and computing science labs are held and along with the graduate classes for architecture. There's also labs on this floor that you may utilize if for some reason you don't have access to a computer. There is resources here that you can use. They're available here on the sixth floor as well. Now we're on to the seventh floor where there are more computer labs for you to use to your advantage along with video conferencing classrooms and 
a lot of multimedia services provided on this floor you can have printing done here you can have specific classes here you can join zoom classes in these rooms on the eighth floor is some more classrooms for engineering and computing students along with advising areas for graduate students now this is actually construction to a brand new building that's being done so it's going to be five in total but that basically sums up our first and main building now we head over to our second building 16 west 61st street now this building is actually more for the faculty but there are a lot of student activities and just areas we're able to access um, international student advising and one of our main cafeterias Now going further down, you'll see that we have a prayer and meditation room. We also have a gaming room and a pool room on this floor. The last building, which is 26 West 61st Street, it's mainly for faculty. On the ground floor is where you actually find access to our bursars, enrollment services, and typically any advisement that you may need. Alright guys, and that commences the tour for the NYIT Manhattan branch. Hope it was informative. More college videos on the way, so stay tuned and stay chasing guys.